welcome to another saddle with Sienna. As I talked about in an earlier video, Chip messed up his eye. And so, this is the last time I jumped him. Uh, I will be jumping him more in the future. He might be out for a couple days, or he might just go straight back to work. It depends on how he reacts to his eyes getting stitched. But he is doing great, and he is doing amazing. He is such a good pony. So, we are going to be doing a little bit of jumping. My usual trainer's out of town, so we are going to be working with a trainer that I've done before. She's a good trainer. Um, but we will be doing a little bit of different thing than we usually do. A really big turning exercise also to help me get my get my leads over fences. It's a really good exercise. I really want to try with Princey once we get more into pole work. But right now we're kind of just getting the basics down, you know. But Chip's kind of like my testing ground, you know. If Chip does well with it, then maybe in a couple months Princey can do well with it. So that's kind of nice to think about. So first fence of the day, we were doing a very difficult exercise. So go over the cross rail, go on that diagonal pole, and then come back around to the other diagonal pole to the cross rail. And we missed the turn. Yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't spin him around that fast. And we knocked on the cone. With JoJo, I feel like it's a lot easier. But with Chip, it's a little bit harder. I don't know. He just doesn't bend as well. He can't. I can't get him to turn as well. Um, but then we go right back over that pole. Great distance right to that fence didn't quite get the lead change so we're trotting into it again get a little bit tense with my body good distance though to that pole and on this particular day i was feeling really good in my legs like really sturdy which was great in fact the trainer i was working with noticed that my legs had gotten a, bit, a lot better since she'd last seen me and so right there we got a half stride so we ended in trot so that's good at least i'm building up some leg muscle maybe a little bit more disturbed work can get me even farther get a little bit up there with my body it's just such a tiny cross where i don't really know what to do you know i'm not used to fences that small <laughs> i haven't done one of those in months <laughs> so we get the right lead over that pole and at this point we've given up on the turnaround comeback we we're just doing each side at once because it was a little bit too hard for so again, correct lead, yippee, and so right over that ground pole, beautiful distance. You really got the distance as well, these. And so now we are going to canter into it. Oh, half stride, back to trot, unfortunately. And wrong lead, and what a train wreck that one was. <laughs> so now we've put some cross rails where the ground poles were, and so right over that one, and to that one. Actually, really, really nice ride for that first one. So now we're trotting into it again, which I don't quite remember the reason behind it, but we were trotting into it again. And so wrong lead. So now we need another lead change and wrong lead again. But doesn't he look so stunning in the Lemire Mulberry? Being a bit quick in the trot right here. And we go over that one, get a little bit. And boy, oh boy. Refusal. <laughs> that was actually because my trainer told me, well, think about going to the wall. And so I thought she meant literally go to the wall. So I literally went to the wall. Wrong lead. Let's see if we get the lead change. Nope. We were actually thinking about getting the wrong lead over that first one and then switching over the other one. So we have two lead changes. And so I thought that was pretty cool. And so lead change. Oh, uh, no, not quite. Oh, wait. Maybe I did get it. So again, these really tiny cross rails are kind of cracking me up. So now wrong lead over that first one and then right lead over the next one. So that's okay. Trotting into it again. Doing good. Okay. Jump that one. Lead change over that one. Hop, skip, and a jump. That was beautiful. What it kind of should look like is chip skipping over the jumps. So, wrong lead on that one. Wrong lead on that one. I meant right lead on that one. <laughs> and so, that one wasn't too bad. But, you know, we just kind of want the hop, skip, and jump. So, we're thinking... Oh, yep. Here it is. I thought it was going to fall right there. That was scary. He's actually never refused on me like that. He's refused on me before, but it's usually in trot and at fences for the first time. But so he's, as you can see, he took a really long distance. He got a little bit angry about it. He absolutely flied it though. And so we continue again, a little bit head tossy. I've never seen this head tossy before, to be honest. And so then I just put my leg on again with the head tossies. Oh my goodness. I had, I realized I had to put my leg on and then we're going to trot into it because of his head tossies and he gets a little bit antsy and he flies it again. <laughs> So now we're cantering into it again. And leg, leg, beautiful ride, head tossies. And so you're just getting a little bit anxious. We're going to trot into it again. And we'll see how he does about it. Oh, really bad ride to that first one. Fly. That felt really good. That time he went a little bit outside with the head tossies. So now cantering. 
and boom that's what it should look like and i put my leg on and it felt great thank you all so much for watching if you liked this video make sure you like and subscribe for crazy horse content for horse crazy kids